Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. If you like design and using 3D printing to solve real world problems and not just printing trinkets, this channel's for you. So what I've got on the bench this week is a couple of hats. And uh, this one in particular I had hanging on my door in my office and I had it just on a regular uh, just hook coming out of the door. And what happened is over time it started to change the shape of the, the, uh, the top of the hat here. It was kind of protruding up um, and it was pulling the hat um, into a sharp angle like that. Again, you don't notice it after, you know, just it's been hanging there for a couple of days, but the weight of the hat uh, over time starts to deform the hat. So I put together uh, a design for a simple hat hook. It's designed exclusively for hats. Um, and this takes away that, you know, the strain point on the hat. So the much larger curved surface here uh, follows the inside dimension of the hat. Uh, and it also it has a lip on here to prevent the hat from slipping off. And this guy's pretty low profile. I know what you're thinking, that there's going to be a lot of force uh, trying to lever this guy off of the door. And I was worried about that initially, uh, but I made this part fairly thick here in the back. And this guy's been on my door with this hat hanging on it. This is not a light hat um, for about two years. Uh, and it's held up really well. It's not sagging uh, at all and, you know, hasn't pulled on the door uh, in the spot where the two screws go in um, either. So very, very happy with this. Uh, and by the way, uh, this is also done in that Hatchbox Copper PLA, the same as last week's print, the, uh, the knobs on my Kennedy toolbox. Um, check that out if you haven't seen it. I love this stuff. This is, I've got about five or six different filaments that just everything you make in them just looks great. The layer lines just kind of seem to disappear and it just looks really good. It has a much higher class look versus a lot of the filaments where, you know, from across the room you can see it's 3D printed and definitely plastic. This, I don't know, the texture of the, uh, the, the filament, it just comes out really nice. And uh, to celebrate hitting 500 subscribers on the channel, I'm going to give away a roll of this stuff. Uh, so all you've got to do to enter is three things. Uh, number one, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Number two, hit that like button on this video. And number three, leave me a comment down below on this video telling me what you're going to do with the filament, what print it is that you want to make with this or, or what you're going to try with the filament. Um, do those three things. I will pick a winner before next week's video. Um, it's going to be completely free. I will cover uh, the cost of the filament. I'll cover the cost of the shipping charges and I will pick one of the folks that have liked the video, subscribed and leave a comment uh, below next week. So by the way, this guy works for all different types of hats. Uh, here's just a regular baseball cap style with an open back. Uh, this hangs on here nicely as well and also prevents you from getting sort of that, uh, you know, this kind of pulling up into this shape here in the back. And it'll work for like a fitted uh, baseball uh, cap style hat as well. So let's go up and put this back on the door and I'll show you how it works. All right, this is the door that this gets installed back on. Let's get this screwed back up and in place. By the way, if you're a tool nut like me, uh, check these out. This is the uh, Wera ratcheting screwdriver. Wera stuff is just so nice. It's, uh, it's made in Germany if you're not familiar with the company. Um, but uh, I'll link this guy below. Uh, it is by far my favorite uh, ratcheting screwdriver and I tried a couple different ones. Um, it'll ratchet in either direction. Um, it'll also just lock out and it's got uh, bits stored right in the handle. Such a nice tool. Okay, so we're installed back on the door here and the hat just goes right on the hook as you would expect. And you can see now our hat is supported uh, so that we don't get the hat uh, stretching and deforming at the top. And this little lip here uh, keeps it on there. You can see even if I uh, jiggle at this hat, uh, it's not working its way down like it would on a hook. In fact, even if I'm pulling here from the top, you can see I'm actually bending the hat over and this guy's still not coming off. All right, I think that's it for show and tell on this guy. Uh, let's go take a look at the design files and see if there is any details that I missed. Okay, so here's the design for this. And as you can see, I've actually got two different versions of this. So you can print either one and see which one is a better fit for your hat. Um, this is the one that I showed you guys. Uh, it's a bit taller and the radius is a bit uh, wider and it's better for like a more full size, heavier hat. Um, this one, the radius is a little bit smaller. Uh, 
it's it's better for like more of a baseball cap uh, style of hat. Um, but print them both, try them both. Uh, the spacing, this whole spacing on each one is the same. Uh, that's 30 millimeters on center. So uh, if you drill holes in your door, uh, you can swap between these two interchangeably. And from a design perspective, uh, I think really the only thing that we didn't touch on um, was just some of the smoothing here. Uh, just from an aesthetics perspective, you can see this curve here is, is, uh, is rather broken and smooth. Um, and then we have a little bit of a sharper one up here that actually comes to a point uh, so that it does hold the hat in place versus just slipping off. If we rounded this one here, uh, we'd lose that effect. Uh, the hat would just slip off of this guy fairly easily. Again, the bottom part is fairly thick um, just to give it strength. That's four millimeters down there uh, because remember, this guy is going to try and pull itself off the door as you hang the hat on there. So. If we didn't have a good amount of material joining this piece here to this here, uh, this guy is gonna warp over time. Okay, a little treat here for you guys that have hung out to the end of the video. Here is a sneak peek into next week's video. Uh, 4th of July is coming up pretty soon. Uh, this is what I'm gonna feature next week. This is a, a fireworks controller that I designed and built. Uh, it's powered by Raspberry Pi um, and a whole bunch of relays. And there's a ton of 3D printed parts in here. I just counted, I think there's 28 different designs and 3D printed parts in this guy. Everything from uh, some of the gear here that you can see that makes up uh, parts of the case uh, to a whole bunch of mounting parts inside here that we're gonna get into uh, and also some breakout boards for the fireworks igniters themselves. So don't forget, I'm giving away a free roll of filament. I'm gonna be picking the winner next week for subscribers. Um, Here's another good reason to subscribe. I do videos like this every Friday. If you're into this type of thing, if you like projects like this, if you like design, you like 3D printing, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Thanks guys, and I'll catch you next Friday.